Hello everybody on the internet. We have finally gotten another awesome trailer for The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier is the Disney Plus show that I am most hyped for. This is the coolest idea for a show Marvel Studios could have possibly thought of. The first trailer was awesome and this trailer is even better. I just love the whole concept of making a show out of Sam and Bucky because those two are great together. This is a way to do so much more for both of their characters because they've both been supporting characters in the Captain America movies. And this is also a way to do more with the Captain America mythos without actually having Captain America. Kevin Feige has described this show as a six hour movie that plays out over six episodes. And it certainly does look like a movie. These shows are next level filmmaking. And spending six hours with these guys, it's going to add so much depth. The trailer starts off in a funny way. It seems like Sam and Bucky are actually in a counseling session or something. So, as well as getting a lot of great banter with these two, because they do get along, like in Civil War and that, but this shows that there seems to also be tension between them. That's going to be interesting. And this plane scene is great. It reminds me so much of the scene in the Avengers where Cap says, Stark, we need a plan of attack. And Iron Man says, I have a plan, attack. And like I said, this show is a way to do more with the Captain America mythos. So it's awesome that Zemo is returning in this. And he's actually getting his mask. That is epic to see. And the little bit of him we see in this is pretty chilling. So it looks like we see a shot of Sokovia possibly here. And then he says, I Superheroes can't be allowed to exist. I, I don't want to leave my work unfinished. So he must want to pick up where he left off in Civil War. I mean, in Civil War, he won. He succeeded in tearing the Avengers apart. But now I think he just wants to kill them. And Winter Soldier and Falcon are two heroes that he could be capable of killing. Then there's this group with the masks. I still have no idea what that is all about. They seem to be a criminal organization or insurgents or something like that, but they appear throughout the trailer, so it's clearly going to be important in the show. And because of the government and the Sokovia Accords, it looks like this is a tough time for Sam and Bucky. The government doesn't want Sam to be Captain America, they want US Agent. And we have only ever seen this same shot of US Agent, they're not showing anything else. And this trailer overall, it doesn't show as much different stuff than we've seen before. So it's not absolutely mind-blowing because it's really big stuff, but it seems like they're really, really holding back on what they're showing in the marketing. They're showing less stuff than the WandaVision trailers did. I guess because WandaVision has nine episodes, this only has six. So I can't wait to see how this story unfolds. And every single shot where we see Falcon or Bucky holding Cap shield is just Great. So touching. And we finally see the return of Sharon Carter. So after Civil War, she became a bit of a rebel. She's no longer with S.H.I.E.L.D. or the CIA. And she was also a victim of the snap. So it's interesting to see what she's going to be doing in this. And I have to mention the action. The action looks so damn good. It's like going back to the Winter Soldier and Civil War kind of action. And the trailer has many funny moments like... This part at the end, Sam and Bucky are literally having a staring contest. I can't express enough how hyped I am for this show. It's great that when WandaVision ends, we only have to wait two weeks to get this. I hope by the end of this show that Sam actually becomes Captain America, like Steve wanted him to. And hopefully we can get another season of this. And I assume that whenever the next Avengers movie happens, these two are going to be in it. And when this show comes out, if you want to see my regular coverage on it, then follow me on the Stardust app. The Stardust app is a good extension of my channel. On there, I cover things that I don't cover on YouTube pretty regularly. So I'd really appreciate it if you could follow me on there. So, what did you think of this trailer? Are you excited for this show? What do you think of WandaVision so far? Let me know in the comments below, and may the force be with you. Hello, girl, kick your ass. I...